Today we're gonna to talk about hand placement when we're setting. Megan's here to demo, and she's been watching all the setting videos because she needs it. Yes, I do. Let's start with the position of our hands relative to our body, which is controlled by our elbows. We wanna meet the ball with our elbows at about a 110 degree angle with our hands flat in a triangle. Notice rotating our elbows out too far or too in eliminates our triangle. Oftentimes we see setters moving from 110 to 90 and extending through the ball. This reduces the speed and power of the set and also introduces additional moves that could compromise the consistency. From 110 degrees, we wanna extend and pop through the ball with our hands staying flat. To work on this movement, we use the cone drill. Here, Megan's gonna start in a ready position with her back to the net to receive the incoming pass. As I toss the tennis ball into the air, she will move off the net to receive the ball with the orange cone. The cone represents the correct elbow bend that creates the optimal distance from the forehead as well as the correct hand position when contacting the ball. In an ideal repetition, the tip of the cone should align with the center of her forehead. As the ball gets closer, Megan will perform her cadence, square up to the target, and be patient. She will allow the ball to come into the cone. We want her to wait for the ball and redirect it rather than going to get the ball. Going to get it will diminish the power we can generate from the elbow bend. As she gets the hang of it, we will move her further away from her starting position so that she can practice using her vision and feet to center the ball within the cone, instead of reaching for the ball with her arms and losing her elbow bend. 